Hello friends, welcome once again in the video and today we are discussing anti-emetic drugs part 3. In part 1 we have seen the different receptors involved in the process of emesis and the cause of vomiting. How the vomiting center is stimulated through the release centers and nerve impulses sent by the release centers. In part 2 we have seen how we have to classify the anti-emetic drugs and how we can remember with the help of tricks and mnemonics it can be easily learned. In continuation with that we are doing today anti-emetics part 3. In this part we will be taking the drugs individually and we will be covering all the questions which have been asked in the exams and probability of asking questions is the highest. So let us start one by one. Hyosin. See Hyosin, another name is scopolamine. Why the name of scopolamine has been kept? See the word it contains scope. What kind of scope this drug has? Yes, scopolamine has means it is the only drug having highest scope for treatment of motion sickness. Yes, this question has been asked many a times. Motion sickness, the best drug is scopolamine. This is one part. It is available in the form of transdermal drug delivery system, transdermal patch. So what is that? For this we have to refer my other videos. This TDDS system, transdermal patch of scopolamine has to be kept under the pinna for 72 hours, duration during which the drug will be released and effect will be observed. Next drug is doxylamine. See, doxyl, I mean, the important question is which is anti seminic we have already seen. Apart from that, it also has anticholinergic property. It means, although doxyl, I mean, it is useful as antimatic, but it will have the adverse effect of anticholinergic. Yes. And the other thing is, it is used for morning sickness with vitamin B6. Now, what is morning sickness? Morning sickness is related to the early pregnancy vomiting. And this use is particularly used in India only. Means it is very prevalent in India. Next drug is Sinarizin. The important question which has been asked many times is it is anti-vertigo drug. So which of the uh, drug is anti-vertigo from the given? Yes, Sinarizin. Now the mechanism, C means calcium, N means entry, Na. In Na means if you write in Hindi, means no. So yes, this is the mechanism. C in Na resin. Calcium, entry, Na, no. Yes, Sinarizin, it prevents the entry of calcium from endolymph into the vestibular sensory cells. So how much it is to important the mechanism of Sinarizin. Next step is metoclopramide. See, in the metoclopramide, we have seen that the treatment of emesis can be done by two different approaches. The drugs which act through brain and the drugs which act on GIT. Brain part is different. If we talk about the GIT, what we have to do is whatever the content present in the stomach, we have to move down into the intestine. So this is the stomach. What we have to do is we have to give the drug which will move the drug from stomach into the intestine. And because these drugs are changing the kinetics, these are termed as prokinetic drugs and these are also termed as gastric hurrying agents. Please for the details go my part 2 video or part 1 video. Now in that the main important drug is metoclopramide. It is a part of prokinetic drug and gastric hurrying agent. It means it is a drug which increases gastric emptying and because of that only the content which is present in the stomach it comes into the intestine. If we talk about the mechanism, yes, it again it works through two mechanisms, big mechanism. B means brain, G4, GID. It means whatever the receptor present in the brain, it will be blocked by the medical provide and it will act on GID also. Let us see how. See, this is for Hindi. Those, if you understand, it is good. And it is for English. We know in brain, the receptors are D as receptor, D for dopamine, S for serotonin. In brain, D2 block is there and C, uh, 
D2 block is there and serotonin 5H3 blocker is there. See one, th this thing is written those, those it is in Hindi term and in English it means friends. So on the one hand we are blocking these two but on other hand we are calling it those two also why? Because apart from blocking this metaclopramide it acts as agonist also where it acts as agonist at 5-HT4. And what happens when finally acetylcholine will be released? Then the gastric MD will be fast, the content will move fast. So this is the mechanism of action. Now again the question part drug interaction. We know many drugs are mainly absorbed from the stomach and many drugs are absorbed from the intestine. We are talking about viability also. It means the drugs which are absorbed mainly from the stomach and if they are not allowed to remain for longer duration of time the stomach definitely viability or absorption will be hampered. Yes, this metaclopramide decreases the viability or absorption of cimetidine and digoxin because they are mainly absorbed in the stomach. Similarly, there is increased absorption or viability of the drugs which are aspirin and diazepam because they are mainly absorbed in the intestine. So this is a part of drug interaction. Now one more important question about the drug interaction only. See for metaclopramide we used one mnemonic in first and second video that the drugs which are present in the stomach they have to be moved down means we are using a drug dome shaped drug and in that the patients are sitting. Now the drug is all the dome shape but the name of drug is metro but the metro we are talking about and we know in metro eatables are not allowed yes metro avoids dinner you cannot take dinner in metro so yes metro antagonizes d d means dopamine so metro right it blocks or antagonizes the action of levodopa so this is interesting thing now we will come to adverse effect. This is good metro, fast metro, gastric agents, but the problem is it has to be parked. Yes, it has to be parked in gali. Gali is a Hindi word, it means a street. Where the metro stands or where it has to be kept in metro station. But this is different metro, it has adverse effect. What adverse effect? It has to be parked in a gully, it means a street. So park means Parkinsonism and gully means Galactoria. So metoclopramide has two main adverse effects when it is used on long term. Yes, Parkinsonism and Galactoria. Now what is the main mechanism behind? Please go through the anti-Parkinsonism video. There you will see my different videos have been uploaded on the channel. And for that, please subscribe the channel, like, comment and share. Now we will come to use this. This is metro. What it is doing, what this drug is doing, the content which is present here, it has to be descend down. The, the patient has taken egg. So this metro, it is bringing egg from stomach to intestine and this is the use. Egg. E means for emesis. Yes, it is used as antimetic. G means gastrokinetic, means gastrokinetic, again the same meaning is there, the content present, it has to be bring down, it is used in emergency with general anesthesia, when is to be given, see whenever the emergency cases comes and surgery has to be done, the, it has to be emptied and for that medical provider is given. E for emesis, G means gastrokinetic, again G. G means GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. We will be discussing in different videos. You can go through my channel and can find there. Because it is the last word G, last word D. D means dyspepsia. So yes, these are the uses. Emesis, gastrokinetic, G. And because it is ending with D, dyspepsia. So this is the story of metaclopramide. Next drug we will see Dompendone. Dompendone in the classification we have seen it is antagonist. 
again it works through this mechanism big mechanism b for brain g for git it means dopamine it will enter into the brain but the entry in brain is very poor then how come it is showing its action we know ctz is not protected any drug can easily enter into the ctz and we know in the first video if you go to the receptor ctz contains dopamine receptor so this dopaminone it goes to the ctz and blocks the dopamine receptor and emosis is prevented means antimatic action is seen this dopamine this dopamine if you talk about on the action on git it is inhibited neurotransmitter which decreases the gastric emptying which decreases peristalsis and motility what the dopamine does it blocks the d2 due to which this inhibitory action is antagonized and there is increased gastric emptying the content which is present here it will move fast from the stomach into the intestine so this is the mechanism of dopamine the questions have been asked next category it is 5h3 antagonist the drug is granisetron granny grandmother and grandmother having ex experience we know it means it is 10 times more potent than ondansetron the question part second is palanocetron it is the longest acting drug amongst the 5h3 antagonist so this is the story about the antimatics part 3 the individual drugs we have taken so like this we will be making pharmacy very easy through mnemonics and tricks please keep in touch and for that please subscribe the channel like comment and share best of